All right. So on that front, I did, uh, as I mentioned, I do want to uh, start talking to our uh, guest in the session, uh, Mr. Venkatesh Devaraju. He's here with us. So he passed uh, with, with great colors uh, last session. And he's a, he's a senior professional, like uh, almost all of you and many of you here. So I did want to give you uh, a sort of real uh, and a mature sense of how it happened. And there's, there's something that we can learn uh, from him. And uh, he was so kind and uh, so humble to agree to my request. Uh, he absolutely didn't have to do it. So I'm, I'm quite thankful. Thank you very much, Venkatesh. Uh, my pleasure. That's fine. So what we are going to do is, uh, ladies, gentlemen, all of you here in the session, uh, we will talk about uh, Venkatesh's journey of uh, how he got through uh, the case study. And now he is a member of uh, the SEMA fraternity. He just received his ACMA and CGMA designations just a couple of days ago. So many congratulations to you on that as well. Uh, Venkatesh, thank you for joining the session. Please just uh, give us a brief uh, introduction yes. to yourself uh, and to the benefit of uh, everyone here. Asman, thank you very much, and it's my pleasure. Uh, and I thank you, thank Asman for inviting me. Can you hear me? Yes, clearly. Can all of you all hear me? Yeah, thanks. So my name is Venkatesh. I'm from I'm from uh, uh, Sri Lanka. For those who are uh, international uh, students, uh, I am at present. I I work as a management accountant uh, in a pharmaceutical company. And I count about uh, about 18, 18, 19, 19 odd years in, in this company. And before that, I was in KPMG as an audit trainee. Uh, I started my CIMA in 2019. I, the, the first exam I did was my MCS uh, case study. Uh, that was in November 2019. And, uh, you know, uh, the, I was told that uh, out of all the case studies, MCS was supposed to be the toughest case study uh, to pass. Uh, the, the reasons uh, given was that, you know, it's quite technical and uh, like, you know, you have all sorts of like, you know, you've got to, uh, you know, pitch in uh, uh, in, in certain uh, technical aspects. And, uh, but I, I did pass. And I, I passed, uh, uh, you know, uh, during a challenge. I mean, when I was when I was doing my MCS, uh, I had a few challenges, personal challenges, and then uh, despite of uh, all, I I did pass, and uh, that was the, the uh, what can I say? I I I did carry that uh, the mindset that psychological uh, benefit. And I sat, I thought like, you know, I will, the, uh, just after I did my MCS, I was so confident that I will, I will get through. I'm uh, sorry, uh, when, I, when I sat uh, the SES, I was so confident that I, 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 will, I will get through because I had the same mentality of uh, doing the MCS. And I got the results in April, I failed. And it was 72, uh, sorry, it was 71. Uh, I failed. And so, then I did uh, realize that, uh, you know, uh, there wasn't, yeah. Uh, I, I think that is a right point for me to interject and add this second question I had. It, it seems like, you know, there are a few members in the batch who, who kind of resonate with that feeling. How, like, how did you feel when you got the failed result? And then please, on that point forward, you can continue your story. Uh, you know, I was so confident, and I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, you know, uh, absorb that. Uh, and uh, you, you uh, when the results came, uh, Sri Lanka was under lockdown, and then, like you know, I thought uh, I, I felt that whole world uh, crashing down because I had uh, so many hopes. In fact, just before one day before the exams, I, I had to, I had my face-to-face -face assessment, uh, the CIMA PER face-to-face assessment, and then I did well. And uh, uh, I got the I got the results uh, after that. Then I lost basically, like you know, uh, uh, what can I say? Like you know, I lost all my interest. Uh, 
And then when CIMA confirmed that, you know, I got through and then I cleared my PER, I didn't take it, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't, you know, take it seriously. Uh, then what I did was I had no one to like, you know, kind of uh, uh, look up to. Then I, I, through one of my friends, I, I got, I got to know uh, Mr. Azman uh, Brownudin. Uh, then I think uh, even when I joined, he he did. Uh, I think I was about two or three classes behind. Yeah, three three classes behind. And then I also had a few few friends of mine. Uh, you know, Tamara also. I, I somehow I convinced him and I got him uh, got him down. And uh, we did the exams in May. And even under under lockdown, it was it was uh, at home. Uh, you know, uh, on on. Uh, home platform. Uh, even at that time, after just after the exams, I felt that, you know, I, 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 I would uh, uh, pass uh, the May session. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't. So uh, I, I got about 72. So just I was I was like, you know, kind of, uh, you know, uh, I improved by one mark, I would say, uh, from the from the February sitting, uh, it was 72. Uh, then I did realize that, you know, when I was doing the, when I again sat in August 2020, I did, I did realize that, you know, I didn't, there were some, there were a lot of mistakes that I, I, uh, I did. Number one is that hard work was not there in me. Hard work is that not that, you know, you, you uh, study all the F3, all the, all the strategic, uh, you know, the theory areas. It's not that. The hard work is all about writing, writing and writing, which I didn't do in my in my MCS, but I passed. So I don't want to touch on that. But my first attempt uh, of my strategic case study where I was asked to uh, do mocks, I barely did. I think I did only one or two. And uh, again, in my uh, in my in my May sitting, I, if I recall, I think I did about two or three. And uh, I, uh, you know, before that, I never touched a single mock. So these were the mistakes, the, the grave mistakes I did for my, for me to fail uh, the February and May uh, papers. So what I did was August was very crucial. August, uh, then like, you know, you know, everybody now, every everyone in this in this forum, we are all seniors. We are all senior members of of uh, our respective uh, you know uh, uh, companies and respective workplaces. So we do have certain like you know certain responsibilities, and we are all having families. So we need to juggle with uh, with with those uh, you know the responsibilities and you know the commitments. Uh, I also did. I'm I'm I also had the same uh, you know. Uh, uh, you know, the same commitments and the responsibilities. So I couldn't, I couldn't shy away. But what I thought was, I could have really done something. You know, we have 24 hours, but at least I could have spent, I could have like uh, taken a good two or three hours. Uh, I could have, I could have done, I could have taken good two or three hours a hard work of good to, of, of out of uh, two or three hours and done done my best but which i couldn't do then i i had uh, you know uh i had a thought i had a serious thought somewhere in uh, somewhere in the somewhere in mid july that i should like you know somehow somehow do all your mocks all all uh, the mocks that was uh, uploaded on uh, the drive uh, so what i did was like fortunately at that time i was you know, uh, in in my workplace, I had a I had a uh, separate room in my in in the finance division, and then and but during I think June, I was transferred to a to a place. It was very somewhat very sort of isolated, and I hardly get uh, visitors and uh, you know people coming in. So I I made the best out of uh, uh, that. So all I think I did all my all the mocks. Uh, while uh, while being at office, yeah. so like you know, I had the timing, and I prayed that you know nobody should call and then nobody should disturb uh, while I while I was typing. 
and uh, almost all the mocks i managed to do it and then the moment i i did i the every mock i finished i used to send uh, azman and then i used used to uh, whatsapp and then like you know that that gave me some confidence yet yet you know the the beauty was uh i was not in terms of theory it was only 50 less than 50 percentage knowledge i had in terms of theory so uh, the guys who are listening might wonder like you know how can you do all those mocks without knowing the theory look the game is this you got to try you got to try it is just that you know what you what, it is the best shot that you that you take uh, by reading that question uh, and automatically i feel that automatically we 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 are seniors so automatically we get to we we've been uh, kind of uh, uh, we have seen this in our in our current in our prep, in our lives and we have we have encountered this and we have given solutions so it's a matter of like you know putting putting those into words and it's and 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 uh, uh, you know it's a matter of writing to a to to your uh, to your company senior. So that's that's the thinking that I had when I when I uh, when I did all these mocks. But uh, uh, just after my mocks, I didn't relax, and uh, even Azman didn't relax. The moment I did all the mocks, I had this you know another <laughs> uh, uh, three-hour mocks were uploaded, and then. Uh, you know, I think I did about five or six, six I precisely, yeah, six mocks, and uh, six mocks, and I timed it, I did, and I got my uh, feedback. The first three mocks, I I think I did not do well. The feedbacks were, uh, thank you very much for the feedbacks, Azman. But uh, when I when I went to, when I was going through the feedbacks, I realized that you know I should do well, I should do better. Uh, because if, during the uh, during the sessions, Mr. Azman used to say that we got to at least attempt uh, most important mocks, which I did so, and that was the secret. It's just hard work, right and right. So that made me pass with a mark of twenty, and uh, so it's just that you know this between seventy two and eighty, uh, the the hard work uh, earned me the extra eight marks uh i'm 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 actually speechless uh, uh venkatesh to be really honest i mean we, we I, I i didn't see your face when we had the chat you know over the phone so uh, it's it's truly remarkable i want to ask you thank you very much Ad. i would have loved to i would have loved to like you know keep the keep the video on but you know during the, during my uh, class sessions my children used to like you know play around especially yeah, they come I into know. the hall and then you they you should shout and uh, uh that thanks very much it's not luck it's the hard work i believe uh because i don't believe in luck it doesn't work uh, well in me uh, <laughs> it's been it's just uh, the hard it's a remarkable <laughs> journey uh okay. had, so my wish is definitely next time i think this time you will you will you will get through my wishes Indeed. are there for you. Uh, so I'll I'll trouble you with uh, one uh, one question about yes please. So so you failed twice. You failed twice. Yes. Right? And then you come to the third session, uh, and and I think you gave a good view of what you did differently, and uh, the, right. that you took it more seriously. But but all in all, if uh, if if I ask you, you could summarize the three key things that you could offer as by and large, the three key pieces of advice that you could offer to anyone who is taking the case study in general, uh, what would that be? Yeah, the first is that, you know, we all are senior members. I believe, uh, you know, the, the uh, we all, have some see have uh, are presently like you know in in uh, employed in companies and we are holding senior positions uh we you know you know we used to write emails and then we used to write reports memos and all these to our superiors uh out of which most of them are to the managing directors and above uh but do not have that kind of 
you know, the, the writing and then do not have that complacency that, okay, I, I used to write to my managing directors and my, my chairman. So it's, it's just like, you know, it's something similar to that. Please do not have that complacency because CIMA case study and then the writing is totally different. I did have that in me for the, in, in the last two sessions. That, is the, that was one of the reasons for me to fail. Because I, I, I used to get this feedback when I, was, when I used to write my emails and I used to write emails to managing directors, uh, finance directors, and uh, sometimes to, to the chairman. I stick to the point which they like. Uh, and even to my suppliers, I stick to the point. I, whatever the question they ask, you know, I just write in, in a few paragraphs and I, uh, that's, how, that's how my writing uh, went. Uh, that was something, that was the idea I had in, in, in my last two sessions, uh, which I thought, okay, I can make use of uh, that experience. And uh, that's how I did my, uh, my writing in SES. It is not that. It is something different. It is not that, you know, you have, the, just because you have the experience, you can write and pass its exam. It is all about it is all about think and writing. It's thinking and writing. And uh, the second, the second uh, takeaway is that you got to write more. Four uh, to three, uh, three main mocks. So altogether, I would have done about uh, six, six uh, mocks. So all these are like, you know, directed at something. And especially like, you know, the, 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 the final, final week we had, uh, Mr. Azman, that is, you know, you also had some... Uh, you know, uh, uh, a few, uh, th these case variants were not discussed in the in any of the mocks. You know, you brought in something like, you know, the, the present CEO, she resigned. And then you, and uh, another lady brought in a tough lady who had like, you know, basically uh, turned around most of the loss making companies. You know, that was something brilliant. Uh, he, that, that made us, Kind of like you know, open up the forum, and I I think uh, uh, you know I had uh, I had some classy answers coming from Yuda and then a lot of lot of people, and uh, that's that's kind of like you know uh, thinking that we need here, and to do that you got to have you got to have the mocks you got to work on the mocks only then you will know that you know you have touched all the aspects whatever uh, whatever that is required in the mocks otherwise if you touch but if you if you say that you know you 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 have touched uh, you managed to do two mocks you know you would have lost you would have lost the opportunity of knowing what the other mocks uh, you know were planning to tell you so i think my my suggestion is that please do all your mocks try your best try your best yes we do have commitments but please try your best to all do all your mocks and then i think uh, it's a hard work that matters. It's a hard work. We got to dedicate time. We got to do something. Uh, in my case, uh, I had to, you know, uh, uh, during the, I mean, I, I did my exams when, uh, when, the, when the country was almost under lockdown. And I had the, I was so fortunate that the company was not working, uh, you know, uh, in a, in a, in a fully fledged style, so uh, we had breaks here and there. So I made uh, I I I I made, I made best use of uh, you know uh, that opportunity. Uh, so so please do that. This is this is my humble uh, you know uh, uh, experience backed uh, suggestions that I can tell you. That's a secret. Thank you, Venkatesh. Uh, I think...